Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening wherever you are. Consider this kind of a overview or introduction to the Honda Moto Compacto. Um, and yes, humble bragging with the S2000 in the back. But anywho, I know I'm making this video because probably a lot of you are receiving this for a Christmas gift or perhaps um, you got lucky and were able to uh, score one of these. So I'm just going to kind of give you a basic like how to put it uh, together, how to disassemble it, and just kind of a, a discussion of like the ride. And, and it won't be too long of a video, but... Um, I was able to get this one at Lake Elsinore Honda for just a hundred bucks over MSRP. I know some people will call me crazy, but it is what it is. I, I didn't mind. I thought it was pretty cool enough and I didn't have to wait that long. I know some people are waiting um, over uh, until like February. So anywho, let's go ahead and talk about the disassembly. I shouldn't say disassembly because I'm actually going to assemble it, right? But uh, let's go ahead and extend that wheel. So I'm going to grab this. I'm gonna release it up and lift this guy up. There you go, and then the wheel will pop out. Let me go ahead and do that. There you go, you just grab the wheel and pull it up with this lifted up and you'll be good to go. And then I'm gonna get this latch and bring it on down, make sure it locks. Now this wheel is not gonna go anywhere. And then from here, you'll see this push to release. You're gonna wanna push that and lift up at the same time. There you go. Now from here, I'm going to release this latch right here. Get the handlebars all the way up till it locks. Close that latch. And then you'll see right down below is that little red lever. You're gonna wanna bring that all the way up until it fits and clicks in its hole. You're almost done. I'm gonna release this latch and flip over the handlebars. Then once it's nice and straight, push it in till it clicks. Now the seat is already here, ready to go. I'm gonna bring this seat up and it's kind of weird. Um, it's easy to put together, but it's really weird to like take apart and I'll show you how to do that. But essentially got it here, lift this handle, push in and click down and you'll see the seat kind of settle in. You'll kind of see the direction you put it and then it latches right there and you're ready to ride let's talk about the ride so this is the charger uh kind of looks like an old xbox 360 charger like power brick <laughs> but i think it is proprietary so definitely uh want to take good care of that but yeah regular outlet for um the house and i got a motorcycle helmet just a bell custom 500 already got a little nick and cranny in there but that's okay um First of all, I got it because it's yellow, but I would definitely still uh, put a, a, a helmet, any type of helmet on. You don't want to get TBI riding a freaking Honda Moto Compacto. So funny little bell. This is your brake and this will be your throttle. Let's, let's turn this guy on. There you go. And I'm already been riding it a little bit, but you got a number one. And the number two means, uh, I think it goes faster, right? It gives you your top speed. But um, essentially, I always start on number one. There you go. Now, a lot of people will say, well, what's up with the headlight? How come it's always blinking and all that? And by the way, this is where your charging port is, obviously. But it has a light sensor. So if you're riding more towards dusk or in the evening, um, it'll turn on and stay on by itself. Uh, definitely, I'd advise against it, though, because... Um, you know, a lot of people don't recognize that you're on this <laughs> all white Moto Compacto. So let me get my helmet on and let's go for a cruise. By the way, there's this little storage in here. You can have your laptop, you can have the, um, you know, mini groceries, your camera, heck, your CCW fits in there. Almost forgot to mention, here are your pegs. You keep your feet up on there. And some people say that this one's a little bit hard to kind of go. I it, They say go from the pivot point, lift up. Yeah, you see how it's kind of like not stuck, but if you go from the pivot point, it'll eventually come out. Lift off this kickstand and get rock and rolling. Now I'm on an incline, so that kind of helps because once I just let go, I can already start applying throttle. Number two, you can just apply throttle right away. But uh, with number one, you want to get a kind of a kick start. I'm on an incline, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to switch my camera sideways. 
and here we go now there's no suspension on this okay so you're gonna feel every bump in every uh nook and cranny it's front wheel drive drum brake in the rear but uh again i mean i'm 350 pounds plus which is uh definitely over the weight limit of this actual uh, scooter but um it still rides it still carries me off nicely and um not too uncomfortably either Now you see the speedo i got about nine ten miles per hour again if you hit number two it can go to its top speed or its full juice um i'm not going to do that for you guys because <laughs> this thing is already struggling bringing me out and about but uh again it's just so fun like it's it's a toy essentially but it's been a talking point of like every car show that i've taken it to people love it people want to know what it is and i really hope that you guys enjoy your new Moto Compacto if you're lucky to get one for Christmas or whatnot and go take it for a spin. There is an app that you can download to kind of um, connect it and you can keep track of your mileage. There you go, <laughs> gotta check my directions. There's an app that you can um, get check your mileage and you can earn trophies for driving it and uh, it's super fun and um there's already people accessorizing it they're adding their vinyl decals and they're adding side mirrors side mirrors would be great actually um and i can't wait to see the car the dry carbon covers and just have a blast have fun with it and go take it for a spin around your neighborhood all right so now for the disassembly go ahead and power her down press and hold and let's start getting uh the seat out first now for the seat, you're going to want to click that little latch right here and lift her on up. Then this is, this is what I was talking about it being kind of weird. You have to click this open, click it on open, release it, right? But to fold the seat back, this thing, you got to click down and then it'll fold. It kind of camouflage or blends in, right? And then put the seat. Oh, sorry. Yeah, click that back in, and then put the seat facing towards the back wheel. Let's do the handlebars. I'm gonna click that out. Rotate them. Click them back in. Okay. Then you see that the red. Lift that up. And then it comes down. I always forget that, but you gotta lift it up and then click down. Release this. Slider, slider. Oh, sorry. Release that and then click the little latch here. Slider on down and then she'll go until you hear that click and then give it a good tug and a test, right? Then lift up. Oh, before you do that, release the wheel, lift up, kick her in, and then click this wheel lock. Sorry, click this wheel lock back in. And then you'll want to check to make sure this doesn't pop out. This wheel sometimes will pop out on you. Pushing your pegs. And again, it's like a folding table, man. You're already good to go. Pop off the train with this little guy. Go to your restaurant. Enjoy yourself. Anyways, again, guys, thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And um, enjoy your ride. Enjoy your Moto Compacto or any car you got. And um, I look forward to seeing you guys out and about. Take care.